Welcome to the Nokia SR Linux Learning Essentials video series, brought to you by the Nokia Data Center Fabric Certification Program. This video explains SR Linux logging capabilities and shows you how to configure logs to capture messages on an SR Linux device. Syslog is the Linux standard for message logging. It has been around since 1980 and has been enhanced with many additional features. SR Linux logging is based on Linux or Syslog, which also supports reliable client-server communication using TCP and TLS for encryption. The source of log messages can be a Linux facility such as FTP or authentication and the logging priority, or an SR Linux application subsystem such as AAA, BGP, ACL, and the associated priority. A logging filter selects which messages are forwarded to a given destination based on match criteria. SR Linux supports four log destinations. Logs can be stored in a local file or in a non-persistent buffer lost after a reboot. Logs may also be displayed on the console terminal or redirected to one or more remote servers. SR Linux provides message logging based on the syslog output format. Let's now explore some commands on log management. For this demonstration, we're going to use my DCF Learning Labs, a browser-based application that offers this and many other lab exercises in an easy-to-use browser-based solution that gives you everything you need to develop your hands-on skills. First, check the default SR Linux log management principles and file storage. The show system logging command lists the existing logs. By default, there are two buffers and one file log. The info detail on the system logging context shows the default configuration. All SR Linux messages as identified with facility local 6 with a priority equal to a warning or higher are logged in the messages file. All SR Linux messages with a priority equal to informational or higher are logged in the messages buffer. All the other Linux subsystem messages with a priority equal to warning or higher are logged in the system buffer. To display the logged messages, you can add the type plus name to the CLI show command. To look at the SR Linux messages logged in the messages file. To display the SR Linux buffered messages, and to check for the Linux subsystem buffered messages. Using a bash terminal session, we can examine the storage location of the log files and buffers. By default, log files are stored in the var log sr Linux file folder. Here, we find the default messages file. Buffers are stored in the varlog sr linux buffer folder. Here, we find the default messages buffer and system buffer. Back to the sr linux command line interface now. Let's now configure a new persistent log file with a filter to track interface state changes for the interface Ethernet 1 slash 1. The sr linux subsystem that reports state changes is the chassis application. First, enter candidate edit mode. Go to the system logging context and configure a filter with a name to match messages that contain the text interface Ethernet 1 slash 1 with the chassis application tag. Do commit and stay in the edit mode. Now configure a new log file named interfaces that uses this filter. Do commit and exit the edit mode. Do info detail on the configured log file. All generated log messages that match the filter will be appended to the new log file following the default syslog format. The new file is stored under the sr Linux file folder. Extra parameters have default values for correct log file management. So let's simulate some events to trigger some of those messages. 
Log into Spine 1 and disable the interface towards Leaf 1. Re-enable that same interface. Verify that the new log file on Leaf 1 recorded the events. You can see that the interface Ethernet 1 slash 1 went down and then went up. Now let's verify that the new Linux file is created under the var log sr Linux file folder. That concludes our basic configuration of SR Linux logging. That's it for SR Linux system log management. Thanks for watching, and be sure to explore the rest of this video series to learn more. And when you're ready to practice what you've learned, my DCF Learning Labs provides comprehensive exercises with step-by-step -step instructions and solutions, all in one simple browser-based application.